I don't look very good in this video, I don't care. I'm wearing my ugly glasses and I haven't combed my beard or anything, so. I can't stand things that destroy our language, okay? In order to have a culture that's cohesive, we need to have consistencies in our language. And I don't like how inconsistent our language has become over recent years. It's really gotten messed up. And the number one thing that's messed up our language is sociology studies. Okay? You know, there's a thing of, oh, racism doesn't mean uh, a hatred of a race or uh, prejudice against a race or or the idea that, that one race is superior than the other. No, no, it doesn't mean that. It means prejudice plus power, which doesn't even have anything to do with race anymore, which is why it can be used against someone who doesn't like a religion. It could be feasibly used against... I mean, someone could actually feasibly use the word racism to describe someone who doesn't like gay people. Okay, I mean, it's it's... That's what the word has turned into. It has nothing to do with race anymore. Well, there's a number of other words this, this sort of thing has happened with. One of them is man or woman. Okay, a man or a woman used to mean uh, male or female. That's what it has, has meant. That's what it's always meant. But supposedly now it... Oh, it's the, it's, it's the gender thing which is separate from sex. Well, if, if you're going to, to have these new definitions of these, you, you want to, to push for a new concept. Or some of you, you argue, oh, it's been for thousands of years, people in other cultures did, okay, fine. Let's just, let's keep our language cohesive. Okay, if you want some other words to describe these, how someone feels in conjunction to society, um, you know, that, that has to do with, with what we view as feminine and, and masculine, and what has to do with the roles that someone has in society, how someone identifies themselves in our society. Um, what sex someone can relate with more in our society, because honestly, without society, gender has almost no meaning. So if, if we're going to be talking about that, then shouldn't we come up with new words? Oh no, let's just change the meanings of words like sociology seems to be good at. And this is where a lot of this confusion comes into place. Okay. I would actually agree with people like, even people like Dakota Hendricks. I might agree if there wasn't this complete destruction of our language. How can we have a cohesive society when such fundamental words are being, the meanings of fundamental words are being radically changed. So to me, there should be some new words to describe the, the axis between uh, man and woman in this new way, there's this new sociological way of looking at the words man and woman, something that describes the axis between man and woman, and something that describes all of the, the gradient between those things. Okay, something needs to be done. We, we can't just keep destroying our fucking language. It's ridiculous. You know, another thing that just kind of irks me about, about these discussions is, I would be considered gender non-binary if I go by their definitions. And I think most people would be considered gender non-binary. Really. 
gender in this regard is fluid, slightly fluid. To, to even, even the slightest change make it fluid. Just like nobody, nobody is 100%, I mean 100%, I don't mean 99.999%, I mean 100%, nobody is 100% straight or gay. And people throughout their lives, often, it's not, this isn't to everyone, but pe oftentimes people throughout their lives, there is a fluidity to someone's sexuality. That's just how it goes. Now, some people might ask, well, do you have, do you have definitive proof of this? Well, no, we, we don't have a definitive way of reading people's minds. You know, we, we can't tap into someone's minds and get, get every little, you know, neuron that's firing. We, we, can't, we can't do that yet. Okay, so a lot of this is based off of what I feel is a reasonable assumption. So, you know, so the, the, the gender thing, the, the ways that we are... This new defi newer definition of gender... Um, and I say newer because, you know, uh, maybe 50, 60 or more years ago, it wasn't looked at this way. Okay. So this newer definition, this newer way of looking at gender, it is fluid. So if we're trying to describe these different elements of gender, why don't we just throw out this, the, 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 the current concept of gender to begin with? Because a lot of people haven't jumped onto that bandwagon of this new definition yet. A lot of people don't agree with that definition yet. And you can look in the dictionary and still basically find the same definition as someone's sex. So, it's not too late to come up with new words to describe these concepts more accurately. That way a lot of these, these arguments that we're having wouldn't happen. And that's why so many of these discussions devolve into just semantical arguments. Because we can't agree on, on the definitions of things. Most people want to still use a traditional uh, often dictionary uh, definition of things. But a lot of these other people that wanted to use these new definitions. Oh, these are the definitions now. Well, no, the dictionaries are wrong. Our language is important. And yes, all words are man-made, or they're are made by humans. All words are made by humans. All words are made up. Absolutely. Absolutely. But words used to reflect the roots of the words. There used to be the roots of words. You could, you could look at a new word and, and break it apart based off of how the word, is, the, the, the word is written and be able to know kind of what it means. Um, in German, for instance, a lot of these words, the new words that come up are just sort of combining... A f there's even full phrases, long phrases that can get combined into one word, and that's how they create new words. Now, it gets pretty tedious at points, some of these words, but at least there's a cohesiveness to the language. Why, are we, why do we seem to be satisfied with this, our language just becoming more and more difficult to where people are having a harder and harder time communicating. Why is this acceptable? It just, it's... I don't really know what more to say now. I just... We could bring across so many more concepts and get, thing, get more people to understand so many more things if we would just bother to create new words and be thoughtful about 
the way we're creating those new words. Things would work out so much better in almost any of these discussions. This is another reason why I loathe sociology. Stop redefining words to things that don't match their roots.